Welcome to the Uninvited Online Bible Study. I'm Melissa Taylor, joined right here with Nikki Koziar. Hey, everyone. And we are going to be your host. Hostess with the most. Hostess with the very most. Yes. For the Uninvited Online Bible Study. Yes. Okay, and we're going to do something a little bit different this mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Nikki and I are going to be joining you via video every Tuesday and Thursday to have some discussion about what we're learning as we go through Uninvited. We think you're really going to enjoy it, and we want you to join us for that. And we're also going to be on social media doing some Facebook Live um, videos, mm-hmm. as well as some Periscope, mm-hmm. um, all about We're Uninvited. We're going to be everywhere. We are going to be <laughs> everywhere. It's going to be like we really are all together yes. doing Bible yeah. study, and that's yeah. what we want it to feel like. Absolutely. That's right. Absolutely. So there are so many reasons why you guys should be excited about this study, but I think one of the greatest things is that we don't have to walk through this alone. Right. Melissa and I and the rest of the team, we want you to feel like you really are walking through this right. with somebody else because, hello, what's the title of our study? Uninvited. Un- Invited. We don't want anyone to feel left out, less than, or lonely through this. Right. We are a team walking through this with you. Right. And you know what? Uh, probably some of you signed up for an online Bible study because you don't have a group that you're a part of. Or maybe you can't make it to a group. Maybe you feel uninvited. I don't know. But you are invited here. And we have a team of leaders. Mm-hmm. Amazing Look leaders. what we do. We love yeah. our leaders so much. We put them all on a stick so we can all be here together. Because guess what? They live all over the country. We, we can't always be together to do study, except for right here at Proverbs 31 Online Bible Study, we can. So us, your team of leaders, we're going to go through this with you. Mm -hmm. We're not here to teach you. We're not here to preach Mm -hmm. at you. We're here to share this journey with you. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Well, Melissa, why don't you tell us about our verse of the week this week? All right, I would love to. It's Colossians 3.12, and Colossians 3.12 says, Therefore, as God's chosen people holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. I love this. And hey, I just had this thought. Okay, so you know how when you've been invited to go Mm -hmm. somewhere, one of the first things that you do is you go to your closet and you think, what am I going to wear, right? right?" And I love that this verse is telling us to go ahead and get dressed with this compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. What a beautiful picture for us to have as we start walking through this study together. That's right. That should be what we're concerned with clothing ourselves instead of what color shirt I'm wearing, do I look fat yeah. in this, those kind of Does things. Does this make we... me look washed out? <laughs> <laughs> True story. <Right. laughs> but also the beginning of this verse, you're holy and dearly loved. Yes. By yeah. God. Yeah. I love how Lisa said it in the book. She said, I am one of God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved. That's right. And you know what? That's why we're wearing these live loved yeah. t-shirts. Yep, mm-hmm. yep, because yep. we need that reminder that we are indeed lived loved. That's and right. And these are on our website, Proverbs31.org. Yes. But um, absolutely, I love them because that's what Uninvited is all about is learning to live loved. Yes. Which we and are. And speaking of living loved, so I heard that you and Lisa Turkhurst are sitting down and doing a very special segment for this Bible study called Ask Lisa. That's right. So let's go check out that segment. And then you're going to come back later and introduce everyone to our Bible study leaders. Yes. Hey, everyone. So excited to be sitting here with Lisa Turkhurst. Well, thank you. Yes. Always a joy to be with you too, Melissa. Well, we love having this time with you. We are getting ready to get into week one of Uninvited. And we asked um, some ladies who had signed up for this online Bible study if they had any questions for you. And we got so many questions. And I love questions. I know. <laughs> we have one for you today. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is from Kim. And this is a great question. I love this. I can't wait to hear your answer. Kim sa- asked, When the enemy begins whispering lies to you, and he does, he sure does, what Bible verses do you turn to? I love this question because first, before I give you the Bible verse, um, there are many that we could talk about right Right. now, but there's one specific one I really want to unpack today with this question in mind. But the first thing I want to say is remember the voice, the enemy's voice of condemnation, Mm -hmm. shame, and rejection, it can come at you but it doesn't have to reside in In you. you. That's Mm -hmm. our choice. Like we can't control the voice that comes at us. We can't control the lies that the enemy speaks at us, but we can control what resides in us. So keeping that in mind, the verse I wanna talk about today is 2 Corinthians 10, 5. Mm -hmm. 
And, and I think we oftentimes will throw this verse out, like take every thought captive, captive. to the obedience right. of Christ. So here's what it says in the NIV. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So I love that in the NIV, but I actually want to read it and study it for just a second mm-hmm. in the King James Version. Okay. And the King James Version says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge mm-hmm. of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Okay. So instead of taking every thought captive and, and, and really, I think we get that. Right. I think we understand. It's like our choice whether we let it in or we take it captive. But I think it's the first part of the verse that tells us what to do mm-hmm. with those captive thoughts. Mm-hmm. The first part of the verse where it says, cast down. So there's two things we're supposed to cast down. Mm-hmm. When the voice of shame, condemnation, the lies of the enemy, when that comes at right. us, we are to cast down two things. Number one is imaginations. I think that's so fascinating because sometimes the enemy will whisper a lie to us and we add our own imagination, right. our own thoughts, our own dialogue. We add to the story. We do. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. add it in conjunction. And so it's like as soon as we start adding to it, in a way we're agreeing with it. We open the door and it comes right in. Right. It's interesting. The Greek word for that word imaginations is spelled L O G I. S M O S. Mm-hmm. I don't know the way to pronounce that word. <laughs> we won't try. We will not try. <laughs> Logismos or something. I don't know. But L O G I S M O S. And that word, what it means is we get to decide what weight we put on what word. So we can either put the weight on the lie that the enemy is speaking to us and right. let that fall deeply into mm-hmm. our soul. Or we can put weight on God's word and let our right. soul be grounded in truth. Right. So we have to remember that. What weight are we going to put on what word? The mm-hmm. lie or the, or the truth. truth? And we want to put the weight, the validity on God's word so right. that it sinks down into the depths of our soul and Absolutely. becomes part of our foundation, right. not the enemy's lie. Right. And the that's second, a choice. We, it's a we choice. We can make that choice. That's right. Yeah. So we want to cast down the enemy's lies right. and our own imagination dialogue that we add to right. his lies. But the second thing we're to cast down is every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God. In other words, we want to bring low the elevated thing that sets itself up against what God says. God says we are holy and dearly loved children. God says we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Anything that tries to exalt itself over God's truth, we're to flip it and we're to bring that thing low so that God's word can be elevated. Because where we put our focus and where we put our attention is what's going to suddenly grab our, be the, become the foundation of our soul. So I think that, that we have to really, really watch both of those things. That is so good. Especially this week, we're going to be reading about self-rejection and a lot of that self-rejection comes because we're believing those lies and then we add to them with our own imagination and then it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. However, God's Word, our truth, our verse of the week this week, this week from 2 Corinthians, I mean this verse from 2 Corinthians 10, 5, let's hold on to those this week and remember to make that choice to believe God's Word and not the lies of the enemy. That's right. That's great. Great question. All right. Lisa, thank you so much for being with us this week. You're welcome. All right, everyone, I'm so excited this week because I'm going to introduce you to the ladies who are going to be leading you through this study. And let me just tell you a little bit about our leaders. They're just like you. They have felt uninvited. They felt alone, lonely, less than, rejected, and they want to live love just like you do. And so let me introduce you to week one's leaders. We have Anna Curran, Stacy Lowe. And you know what? When you can't be here live, what do we do with our leaders? We put them on a stick. Yeah. We have Katrina Wiley. She lives in Washington, and she couldn't get here for the our time together here, but she'll be leading you this week as well. So, okay, ladies, we've read Uninvited, right? Yeah. Love it. I cannot wait for you guys to get into this study. So tell me, what are you most looking forward for our OBSers? What are you looking forward to them to get out of the study? Uh, Well, I think for me, you know, I think rejection is something we can all relate to, we've all experienced, and so I'm really looking forward to becoming equipped to Mm -hmm. handle it and face it from a godly perspective instead of a worldly one. That's right, because we are going to face rejection. We absolutely are. If you haven't, you will. Most of you will probably say, yeah, I have. But when you can look at it with a godly perspective, it 
makes it possible to get through it. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. What about you, Anna? Well, yes to everything Stacy just said, um, and I'm just most looking forward to seeing God work in the hearts of so many women, including myself, um, and just being able to dig into this study with an incredible community of women. Wow. And that's us. We are your community of women, so rely on that because it's great. And Stacy, you talked to Katrina, too. I sure did. And so this is what Katrina had to say. She says... Uninvited helps us see that we are not alone in our struggles with rejection, all the while giving us practical steps and biblical truth we can learn to apply and stand on. That's That's a good answer, Katrina. Very good, (laughs) Katrina. And you know what? When we put practical application with the biblical knowledge that we're learning, that's how God wants us to live our lives. Yes. So that's really good. All right, we have a great week planned for you ladies. We sure do. Guess what? This week we're reading chapters 1, 2, and 3. And then this Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Facebook, we have what's called Bible Study Live. Mm -hmm. Anna here is going to be leading you through Bible Study Live this week on our Facebook page at 8 p.m. And you know what? There'll be something on the blog every single day. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we're going to be writing to you. We're going to be leading you through the study. And then on Tuesday and Thursday, Nikki Coziars will be with me, and we're going to be doing some Bible study uninvited discussion. So, And we'll also have a video from Lisa Turkhurst every week as well. All right, you guys, we are going to have a great week. And oh, I almost forgot. If you forget everything I just said, guess what? (laughs) We have the weekly lowdown for you. You can find it every Monday on the blog. It has all that you need to know for this Bible study. So make sure, I always print mine and put it on the fridge or in my Bible or something. Okay, you guys, we're going to have a great week. And we know it. Your life is crazy, but your your Bible Bible study study doesn't doesn't have to be. be.